Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jenkins tutorial, we will understand how you can create a Jenkins job to pull the code automatically from the GitHub repository and execute your test cases on the Jenkins server. Okay, so wherever the Jenkins is installed, you can basically create a job that will pull the code automatically and run those test cases. Okay, so let's quickly go ahead and see our GitHub repository. This is this is the repository that we have, right? And we have the main branch where I have pushed in all the code so if you if you haven't watched the git and github tutorial I would highly recommend to go ahead and watch it and see how I have pushed in the code how do we clone and things like that but in terms of creation of this job it won't be tricky at all what we need to do is we just need to create a Jenkins job and specify from where we want to pull the code right so let's quickly go to Jenkins dashboard now here if you see the normal job that we have created which is selenium python automation we'll go to configure you'll see the details here where we want to specify or how we want to specify that the code that we want to execute right so we, ha we have this workspace where the code is present right so there is a directory where the code is present and when I run this particular pytest command that is basically that will be able to identify where my test cases are and workspace I have specified in the if you go to the advanced you will see that the custom workspace right so this is where my code is on my local machine now usually you won't be doing this in your actual project so in your projects the code will be somewhere in github and you need to pull that code so wherever your Jenkins server is running in the Jenkins server in the Jenkins job you'll configure to pull that code on the Jenkins server and then execute the test case so how we can do it simply go back let's create a new job so click on new item and I'll simply say selenium Python automation uh, github okay just a name there i'll click a freestyle project and once the project is created so what we need to do is now in the source code ma code management right you will see this source code management section previously we had no now we need to pull the code from the github repository so we'll select the repository as git and it will ask me for the url okay so go to go to github repository whichever code you want to pull so this is the code that i have i need to pull and run the test cases which are present in the test case folder right so go to the code section here copy this link okay Okay, simply copy this and paste this URL okay now the next thing you have to do is you have to provide your credentials okay so to provide the credentials what you need to do is you need to add the credentials the github credentials that you have okay so you can use this particular code that I have uploaded that's absolutely fine uh, and provide you know like whatever credentials you have or when you will create your github account you will have your own credentials but I would highly recommend going through the whole series and then push in your own code in your repository in github repository and then pull that code that you have checked in or you have updated something some new test cases here so it will give you a lot more confidence in terms of end-to-end -end execution so once we have this simply go to add okay and click on this add credentials it will ask for the credentials right so you have to basically provide the credentials so just keep it you know like global and then in the username and password provide your github username and password okay so here here, once you provide the github username and password click on add it will add those credentials okay so I have already added those so I have listed them here okay so because once you will add it will be available in the display down here okay but I'll show you how to add let's quickly do it so I'll say this is my github account details right so i have provided the github username and password and you can provide the id and description if you want so I'll say in the description second credentials okay click on add and it will be available in the list here right so the description that I have provided is there as well so I'll choose my credentials that's the only thing and then in the branch if you see by default it chose the branch master but the branch that we have is main right so the branch is main so simply change it to main all right and come down here and in the build step we will specify the command that we were using or we were triggering or firing to execute our test cases right so the command was we were executing the pytest test cases so pytest and then we were specifying on which browser we want to execute our test cases so we'll say chrome and then the url the test url so we were working with um, yatra.com so i'll say yatra Dot com and then HTML report name right so HTML report name so I'll say report git and then just 
html right so any name of the report that you want to generate okay so once you have specified the command that you are using to trigger your test cases here in the execute windows batch command that should be good enough so if you're on windows then choose the windows batch command if you're on uh, linux or where you have the shell then you use the shell right so just apply let me copy this and i'll show you so if i cancel this okay so in the build step if you want to execute the shell so if you're on linux you have to choose this shell command but i'm on the windows or this particular jenkins server is running on windows so i'll choose the windows and click on apply and save okay so now let's go ahead and build this so this was the previous build let me delete it and click on build now so the build will start and let's go to the console output so you'll see that it has collected the so it has basically you know collected the code and if you see it is the workspace that it has chosen is this particular right so jenkins will automatically download and put it at a particular workplace a workspace right so there is a dot jenkins which is hidden file and then there is a workspace folder where it will put all the code that has been downloaded right so if you'll copy and go to the location you will see all of the code has been downloaded here okay and the execution has already started you will see the browser has came up and it is already doing the execution right so it has selected the two stops and then done the verification and you see the output as it was in the previous cases so once the execution is finished you will see the failure because of the verification that's absolutely fine but in terms of the build and other details this is the only thing that is required to configure a job to pull the code from the git repository so our code is in, in the github we just provided the repository url the credentials and the branch from from where we want to pull the code and the build or the command that we want to use to execute our test cases right now we are hard coding this browser and url right so we can parameterize these okay so to parameterize what we can do is we can simply you know go to the top here and then choose this project is parameterized we can add the choice parameter and we'll simply say browser as the name and we'll say chrome and say for example edge in this particular case just two and then here at the bottom in the command what we'll do is we'll simply choose for the browser because we want to pass the value here so we'll simply change it to percentage browser percentage right this is how we do in the windows batch command if it is a unix then in order to refer to that particular parameter or variable we'll simply say dollar browser okay so that that will refer to that particular variable now depending on what we choose once we execute will we if we choose edge edge will be chosen and will be replaced here in the place of where we have selected this percentage browser percentage similar thing you can do for the url okay so go ahead and do it for the url but i'll leave it here for choosing the browser save it and now you will change you'll see the change has happened build with parameters okay and you will see browser i can select edge and chrome so let's Let's choose edge and click on build and see that the edge browser will launch we'll go to the console output and let's wait edge browser will be coming up pretty soon you'll see the browser has popped up and it is it will start executing executing in the edge browser so it will choose the stops and once the execution is finished then you will see the execution report or the console output here so the build has failed which is verification failure that's fine but in terms of the overall Overall, building with parameters we have understood how you can pull the code from the github repository and then parameterize your execution with different browser and URLs as well we have covered this parameterization in last tutorial as well so that is in very much detail go ahead and watch it if you haven't watched it already so that's all for this tutorial on how to pull the code from github repository and create a job basically in Jenkins to pull the code and execute your test cases through that job I hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching